Capricorn Rising's August 2024 shows that you're probably going on some really significant, really fun travel plans. So if you are excited to dive into what we can expect this August for you, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I make videos on astrology and also I put out music so you can find my music, my private readings, and my courses and other astrology content all linked down below. So starting out on the second, Venus is going to square Uranus between your eighth house of investments and your fifth house of romance or creativity. Do be aware that either your creative or your romantic life right now might be throwing a lot of random wild card energy your way to disrupt your finances. On the fourth, there is a new moon in your Leo eighth house showing a new beginning around investments, finances, or big money decisions in your life. And on the fifth, Venus will be entering your Virgo ninth house of long distance foreign travel or higher education. So a lot of us are going to be embarking on trips or focusing more on education as we head into August. Also in the fifth, Mercury retrograde is going to start and over the next three weeks, it will be going into your ninth house of foreign travel and your eighth house of investments and finances. So you are likely going to be rethinking or having some delays and miscommunications around travel, school, and or your finances over the next three weeks. Although thankfully from the seventh to the eighth, Mercury and Venus will be conjunct, which shows that this rethinking and this recalibration is actually in your best interest and rather positive. On the 13th to the 16th, Mars will conjoin Jupiter in your sixth house, which shows the growth of effort and the growth of putting a lot of hard, diligent work into either your physical health and working out or coworkers and focusing a lot on putting just a ton of effort into your work environment. However, they will be squaring Saturn in your third house, showing that your day-to-day -day routine, content requirements, or what you're having to just like routine-wise commute do every day is putting a big blockage and obstacle in the way of you accomplishing either your fitness and health or coworker related goals. On the 18th to the 19th, Venus is going to square Jupiter between your ninth and sixth houses. This is amazing for connecting your physical health or people that you work with, with this trip or with this educational plan to have a really positive outcome and a connection between those two. Then on the 19th as well, Venus will oppose Saturn in your third house. This does show again that you are wanting to do something with travel or education and your day-to-day -day requirements of content or communication or writing and your day-to-day -day routine of like shit you have to get done is really putting a blockage and stalemate on those plans. But also on the 19th, there is a full moon in your Aquarius second house, showing an ending, a letting go, or the you know finality of a way of making money. It shows that you're probably finishing up an income stream or you're leaving a way of that you are making money. On the 23rd, the sun is then entering your Virgo ninth house, which shows more energy, more effort, and more attention going towards travel or education in your life. So you're probably going to be traveling, particularly as we head into September or focusing on learning something new at a high level. On the 26th to the 27th, Venus will try Uranus between your ninth and fifth houses. So this shows that romantically or creatively, things are randomly helping you out with this trip or with this education. They're connected in a really nice way, either creatively, romantically, you know, helping you with this trip or with this education plans. But on the 28th to the 29th, Venus will oppose Neptune in your third house, showing again that your day-to-day -day requirements for content, communication, writing, or your day-to-day -day commute are confusing and delaying you with these plans. But on the 30th, Venus will be entering your Libra 10th house, showing that as we head into September, career-related things are moving more smoothly at a really important level. If you have any thoughts or anything that you want to share about this August coming up for you, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I'm interested in hearing how this month is going to come up for you guys. The tarot card that we have here for Capricorn Risings this August is the Queen of Swords. So Queen Energy is all about, um, you know, feminine nurturing and building something up emotionally. Swords are about logic, plans, and mental energy. So this shows to make sure to, like, really, like, uh, nurture or encourage yourself with the way that you're mentally dealing with things, being really compassionate as well as uh, warm towards yourself with the way that you're mentally deciding to do things this month. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and also subscribe if you are not already. My birth month is August, so um, I'm hoping that it goes well and I'm hoping that your August is awesome as well. And I will see you next month.